game. What is going on guys? Something a little different here. I just got an Xbox One and I'm crazy excited. I've never done this before, but I just wanted to do it because I'm so excited, I guess. Um, so, we're just going to be checking out the uh, the, in the insides of this box. And then we're just going to set the Xbox up and everything like that. So, just a little video here looking inside the Xbox. Now, um... Once you get this nice plastic Assassin's Creed cover off, it's pretty much just normal Xbox One. Um, no connect, obviously, and uh, it comes with a piece of plastic paper stuff that has the uh, code on it for Black Flag, I believe, and uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. I'm not sure if it's... I'm pretty sure you get both games, so that is pretty cool. Get this foam out of the way, and then we're going to take this nice looking flat box out which is gonna have all the good stuff in it, I guess, to keep the Xbox running. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, so this is, um, I don't know, some advertisement in Assassin's Creed, there we go. The smallest game you've ever seen. So I believe it is both, we're gonna see, I'll post both videos if it is both, but um, some Assassin's Creed Unity videos coming up really soon. And there is the HDMI cord for the system, good stuff. Um, and the power cord that plugs into the wall. Uh, some more pieces of paper, not exactly sure. And the controller. Oh yeah, good stuff. Once I get into this thing. This is probably not the biggest cell, but I cannot really play with the PlayStation controllers. My hands get so, like, numb. I don't even know, but because of, I think it's because of the size. But anyways, we get some batteries with it, too. That's really nice of them. And here she is. Beautiful. The thumbsticks are really, like, I don't know. They stick to your, they stick to your thumb. There's some kind of glue on there. Just kidding. But it feels really nice. Uh, there's no battery pack sticking out in the middle. Not that it bugged me before, but they've concealed that within the controller, so... That's all good. There's your ports and whatever else. Really good looking controller, I think. Here's the uh, headset that comes with it, so you can do your gaming online and stuff. Um, pretty standard. I was going to show this, but I figured why, because you can look at it online better if you want to, and it's pretty standard, I think. The square that plugs into the controller is there. It's not just like a little cord. And the big power block as well. Get into the meat of the operation here. This is the huge honking Xbox One, guys. The biggest system, I think, that's ever been made. I don't know if that's a factor or something like that, but I'm sure the Atari was smaller than this. And I don't think any system has ever been quite this big before. I think the PS4 is quite a bit smaller, I believe. And it's definitely smaller than the Xbox 360, even when it first came out. So, not that that's a big problem. Just saying, it's just uh, set up on my shelves now. It looks like it belongs to part of a big stereo or something like that, but... Anyways, slowly get into it. There we go. All unwrapped and in focus, looking sexy. We'll uh, give you the old look around. There's a USB port on the left side right there. Can't really see underneath too well. Then we have all the ports on the back, the plug-in, the um, HDMI out, plug into your TV, and it's also got an HDMI in, so you can plug in your cable or satellite TV, a couple more USB ports, and your Ethernet cable. Um, so, quite a lot of stuff on there. So that is complete. Ooh, she is starting up. Here we go. Ooh, that's my controller. Yeah, press... Hey, I guess that means... Yes. Hey, how are ya? My Xbox is talking to me. Um, yep, that one's mine. Yeah, you guys don't really need to see that. Oh, good, we're connected. That's what I like to see. Where do I live? I don't live in the United States or the United Kingdom. I live in Canada. It's time to update. Oh boy. All right. Well, I have a feeling that this may take a little while, guys, so I'll just see you when it's done.
I believe that's my time zone. Oh, there are two power options for your Xbox while you're not using it. Let's take a look. Let's. Energy saving and instant on. Um, well, that looks like it's taken a long time to load up there on the left. I think I'm probably going to go with the instant on. Hopefully it doesn't use a crazy amount of power. We'll see how it goes, though. And now I'm going to sign in. All right. You guys don't really need to see this bogus stuff, so... Privacy control. All right. Sign in. No barriers. That's, uh, that's the way I like to live my life. Barrier free. Use instant sign in. Yes, I think so. I would like to instantly sign in. That's how I look. Oh man, I look so good. Holy crap. Choose a color. Ooh. Ooh, I think I'm gonna have to go with this gray blue. Yeah, that's the color for me. What's happening? Oh, hello, Xbox One. So polite. Such a polite system. Press the Xbox button to go home from anywhere. Ooh. Wow, they weren't kidding. I was I was anywhere and now I'm home. Pretty looks like it's like a simplified version of uh, of the Xbox 360's main HUD. That's pretty cool. See what your friends are up to. Cycle through what's going on, I guess. What everybody's doing. That's cool. Lots of new games. This is okay. Games, movies, music, and apps. That's pretty nifty. Some new stuff coming out. This must be sort of like so your home friends and then just everything else instead of separate into its own stuff. Then we've got some pins. Cool stuff. So just I guess shit you use pretty frequently or something. Something else that's pretty cool is uh, the activity feed of your friends. You can see what they're up to really right now if they're on and just their latest achievement and any clips they post as well. So pretty nifty guys. This is going to be really fun. We've got some Assassin's Creed stuff coming out for you really soon. So that's all for now guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.